Look, probably about five years ago, there was a lot of discussion about correcting for higher order aberrations, namely spherical aberration, um, when selecting a lens implant. But you can't realise the value of that unless you correct the lower order aberrations of both sphere and cylinder beforehand. And so it came to me that it was important to correct astigmatism uh, in patients presenting for cataract surgery. And we know from several large population studies that just a little over a third of patients presenting for cataract surgery are going to have a significant degree of astigmatism and are going to benefit from having that corrected. So before toric IOLs became available, uh, we really used a choice of um, LRIs or spectacle correction. And unfortunately, LRIs aren't always predictable, particularly in higher levels of astigmatism. And unfortunately, LRIs induce higher order aberrations on the cornea. So basically anybody who's either got primary or secondary astigmatism with more than one diopter in the IOL plane is a candidate for having a toric lens implant. And, and accordingly, in my practice, nearly 40% of patients having surgery will end up with a toric lens. The single most important um, surgeon factor in a toric lens success is biometry. It's important to remember that biometry relies on reflection from the tear film of the cornea. So we undertake biometry only on virgin corneas. So a cornea that um, has not been applinated, a cornea that's had no local anaesthetic or dilating drops put in it. Uh, that's what we refer to as a virgin cornea with a virgin tear film. If a patient comes in and has a dilated exam and then we make a decision about cataract surgery, that patient comes back on a separate day to have the biometry done. So once you've made your calculation as a surgeon then you have to undertake meticulous and consistent surgical technique. You have to be consistent with your incision construction and architecture. You have to be uh, consistent with your capsularexis and that will ensure the best effective lens position, an important part of getting that consistent and predictable refractive outcome. The Rayner toric lens appeals to me particularly because it comes in half diopter steps for both sphere correction and for cylinder correction. Patients presenting for cataract surgery may have primary astigmatism or they may have secondary astigmatism. So they may have had previous corneal transplant surgery they may have some degree of corneal ectasia, there may be corneal scarring. So these patients will have unusual corneas and they may not have the normal degree of spherical aberration that we would expect. So the big advantage of the Rayner lens is it comes in half diopter steps and it has zero spherical aberration. If you try and implant a lens that has say negative spherical aberration aiming to correct the positive spherical aberration on the cornea. That may not necessarily work well in someone who has an irregular cornea. Uh, and therefore the advantage of the Rayner lens is that it can work um, right across the board for all of your patients uh, presenting um, for cataract surgery requiring astigmatic correction. Incorporating uh, astigmatic correction into modern ophthalmology practice is essential for success. It's not difficult. The key to it is biometry on a virgin cornea, meticulous surgical technique, particularly with regard to wound architecture to minimise surgically induced astigmatism, and consistency with your capsular excess sizing and centration. The lens is a little more forgiving than you might think, and if you pay attention to those steps, you'll be rewarded with really wonderful surgical outcomes with very happy patients and that's going to be great for your practice. Toric lenses are premium lenses but they provide a premium result. There are economic advantages to the patient if they don't rely on astigmatic correction in the form of spectacles or contact lenses. That saving over the patient's lifetime can more than offset what might cost them more at the time of surgery for a premium toric lens implant.